super quick roadside pick, frugal friends. I think I'm gonna take all of it. A good tote, some um, tomato cages in good, in good shape, and this really fun metal garbage can. Yeah, I think we're gonna take these. Oh, and a soda can. I'm wondering if they were leaving these out for like a metal collector, because there, I know there are several in the area, but there was no sign or anything. So I think I'm okay to take them. Just gotta figure out if I can fit the metal waste basket. What am I gonna do with this metal waste basket? Well, it's either going to go into my metal scrap or I might actually make a planter out of it. Oh yes, I've made planters out of metal waste baskets before, none this big, but I do have some smaller ones in the Wonderland. I'll try to put a picture in right here and show you. And I've been using them for years and years and years and they're awesome. It's just another way to get a little more life out of something before it inevitably ends up going uh, to be scrapped and you know I'll use the tomato cages. There is also this gorgeous table and it does have a free sign on it. You can barely see it. I drove by it coming the other way, but I just, I don't have room. It's ginormous. I don't have room to put it in the car and what would I do with it when I get home? I'm not having a yard sale, but dang it, it is a gorgeous table. It's so pretty and in beautiful condition. I just don't know how I would get it into the van. I don't have the room. Ugh. And then what would I do with it? It's way too big for my house. Oh, there's actually, it looks like there's a chip. If you can see that on the upper right corner of the glass. Well, that and not having any room in my car is helping me make the decision, make me feel better about leaving it. There's one of them. I've got it on a cinder block that is also from the bins, salvaged. But yeah, it's just a old school metal waste basket. It's not all the way full of dirt. In the bottom half, I did like rocks, um, pottery shards, things like that to fill it up. So you don't have to fill the whole bottom half with dirt, which is especially helpful with how big the garbage can is that we got today. And this one here, that is of course also from the bins. That one is pretty much to its end. I can't even move that one anymore but I've had plants in it for, geez, at least five, six years now. Some of you will recognize that ceramic piece there. I have a couple of those. Those are from the craft store dumpsters. And there's also this one right here. And again, it's not all the way full of dirt, probably just about half of it. Yeah. If you just get a little bit creative, you can come up with some amazing ways to reuse not only old metal containers, like this here is actually a thing from on top of a school roof. I think they said it went to like drainage or plumbing. I don't know. So somebody told me. I found these several years ago. Anyway, you can come up with some really creative planters or who knows? A million other things. It just takes some imagination and being willing to have something that isn't in tip top shape, like this little bench that is also from the bins. Oh, P.S. This piece and all the pieces off of it that are holding the soda bottles, that's from the bins too. My brother welded it into a tree for me. And this trellis that the bean is running up, that's right, that's also from the bins. Oh, and my Br'er Rabbit, it was something else before, and then I painted it and put Br'er Rabbit because this is my laughing place garden. Laughing place as in Splash Mountain. Creativity and dumpster salvage goodies. Oh, the possibilities. Oh, that's another one right there. Yep.